So this has been Sandy and welcome to my part 2 intermediate windmill tutorial. Basically we're going to be getting rid of this crappy dad and we're going to be doing windmills using our hands, our shoulders, and also the side of our head. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you want to click right here to check out the beginning windmill tutorial. So before we start, you want to make sure you're wearing the proper equipment. You want to make sure you're wearing a beanie and also a jacket. The beanie is so that you protect your head um, because when you first start doing head windmills, you might bump your head a couple times and you could possibly cut yourself, scrape yourself, or worse off, get a concussion. Um, so you want to make sure you wear a beanie, maybe even a couple beanies, to make sure you don't hurt yourself. The jacket is so that you can spin better, and also, um, after hitting a bunch of windmills, you're going to get these floor burns on your shoulders. And a jacket will definitely help prevent getting those floor burns on your shoulders. So first we're going to learn how to do windmills using this wall just so you guys understand the form. So traditional windmills that we've learned in the previous tutorial start with the stab, we turn to our back, and we come back to the stab. Now as you guys might know, the stab looks kind of ugly, so if you're still doing windmills like this, it's time to upgrade. So we're in, instead of using the stab, when you go to your back, you're going to go here and you're going to pick up off your head, and you're just going to push using two hands. From here, you're going to drop back into your windmill, come off your head, and push. At the same time, you're also kicking your legs, which I'm going to show you guys next. So let's look at our original windmill. We go from the stab, right here, we turn to our back, and we pick up back to the stab. In this windmill, we're going to be pushing up on our hands. So we're going to start from the stab, go to our back, push, and then you go back to your back. Right? So we're basically trained doing this over and over and over. So I'm going to show you guys next how to get from your head back to your shoulders. When most people first apply this concept to their windmills, they have a hard time going from your head to your back without stabbing. So this is going to help you guys uh, get rid of that. And this is basically a head coin drop. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just our head on the ground and our legs out. What you're going to do is you're going to swing your arms like this. This is really going to help you guys get to your back. So what you do is you swing your arms, at the same time, you're going to jump your legs to your back. And you do that all at once. So let's go here one more time. You're on your head, your feet, you swing your arms, jump. Alright, and that's kind of, that's going to help you guys get to your back. So let's try it one more time, and when you get to your back, you're going to kick your legs up, and that's the actual head coin drop. So you're here, kick your legs. And that's going to give you that motion to actually kick up into your next windmill. So it's going to go here, head, swing down to your back, and then you're going to actually go back to your hand. Alright, so next we're going to show you guys how to do that in the full motion. The next tool we have for windmills is speed. And most people have trouble uh, starting off because they're going super slow. And as you build up that speed, then you get the hang of it and you're able to just keep your windmills going once you have that speed. So the best tool for that is using a coin drop. If you guys don't know what a coin drop is, I want you guys to click at the bottom to learn how to do a coin drop before you guys continue. Alright, so we're going to start off and we're just going to train one windmill um, starting with a coin drop. So we're going to step out here, step back, and stand back up. So you guys are going to want to train this one windmill from a coin drop over and over and over until you're comfortable and then you can work your way up to two windmills, three windmills, four, even five. From here, it's going to lead me to my last point of training your windmills. You want to do windmill training basically just like weight training. All right, so you're going to sit, hit that set of five windmills, rest for a minute. Hit another set of five, rest, and hit your last set of five, and then rest. All right, do this until you can work your way up to 10 windmills even 20 windmills. You don't want to just keep doing windmills over and over and over and falling because then you're, you're training your body to you know, have bad form and also potentially fall. All right, So make sure you keep training good windmills over and over and over so your body gets used to it. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email. This is B-Boy Vinsanity. Peace out. Make sure you guys stay tuned for my third windmill tutorial which is going to be basically windmills without using our hands, just pulling just like this, it's basically called barrel windmills. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you guys can, subscribe, like, favorite, whatever else you guys wanna do. Thanks a lot, peace.
Yo, what up? It's your man driving Ivan from the Step Boys, and you watching Vince Santa TV, son. Keep it locked.